the Carney Code. Welcome to another episode of House of the Dead Overkill. We're doing the Carney episode today. It seems like almost every episode is is about 20 minutes long. So, like, in theory, it's going it's uh it's going pretty well. I want the shotgun so bad. We can unlock the SMG. But I want the shotgun, so I, th I think we should do is just upgrade the clip size and then just move on. I wonder if you can beat the whole game with just like one gun. But if you guys be so kind as press that thumbs up button and subscribe, it goes a long way in helping my channel out. I don't know if I've said that yet this episode, but it doesn't hurt to say it more than once, I guess. But yeah, having fun with this so far. Each episode being like, it, it, like each episode in the in the game being like twenty minutes gives me a good episode breakdown. So like, it's like it's almost made for this. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been fun kind of reliving, even if uh, there's some uh, difficult moments when it comes to figuring out what the fuck is going on in the black parts, the dark abyss that is the Crush Blacks. That they won't let me fix. I can't adjust. Barla, Barla gun. No wise cracks, okay? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What did I just say? Guns. All the fucking guns. What kind of name is that? The name I was born with, dipshit. You see, my birth was celebrated. Whereas on your arrival. Yeah, I'm sure. I bet. They tried to push you back in, whoever the fuck you are. His name is Washington. Isaac Washington. Named after my daddy. And that shit's biblical. So I'd advise showing a little bit more motherfucking respect. Cute. And what do I call your wife back here? I'm Agent G. And Isaac Jr. had issue with my name? You gotta tell me what that G stands for? Afraid not. Well, can you ladies at least tell me what brought you to the plantation tonight? I'm afraid that's top secret. It's personal. Personal? More fucking personal than losing your only brother in the world? Eyes on the road, Paula. Looks like something was eating him alive. More mutants? No shit, Sherlock. If you're both finished admiring each other's dicks, can I remind you we have a fucking mass-murdering psychopath son of a bitch to catch? You wait there, woman. Agent Gwendolyn and me are gonna check this shit out. Fuck you! Motherfucker! What does a brother have to do to pacify a bitch? I'm telling you, G, I've tried my best with her. God be my witness. I have shown respect, charm, under fucking standing, but that is the last fucking straw. Ladies and gentlemen, the infinite tact of Isaac Washington. You do, truly you do. Use your tongue better than a, a $30 hooker. And man, can I say from the bottom of my heart, you are a shining example to all of us. Mankind, I mean. Don't make me hit you again. Carney, a thousand tiny fingers clawing at your spine. The Carney Code. Every time, I'm like, that's so embedded in my memory. Like, any time there's, like, carnival or anything like that, that's the first thing that pops in my mind. The Carney Code. Can we get a, can we get an episode of this where it's out in the daylight? Stop clowning around. <laughs> Stop clowning around. Either me or these clowns take a lot more damage. Shit! There's something on the roof! Reload. Reload. 
not doing so hot on this one. You call me mid reload, man. I think we're gonna have our question answered. From the uh from the last episode, which is what happens when you die? How far back do you have to go? I've got a feeling that tonight is gonna be that night. <laughs> Ooh, I got that health. Oh, I needed that. I always miss up on mess miss up. Mess up on that like last shot, man. You know what I didn't do that I said I was gonna do last time? I was gonna get rid of that. Dude, these fucking clowns, dude, are ridiculous. I was gonna get rid of the vibrating from the Wii controller. Guess what I did not do. I don't know if I got that or not. I guess he decided his legs wasn't working after. You know what? No, it's not working. Damn it. Jesus. I feel like I need something a little bit stronger. I think that's where a big issue is coming in, is I don't have like... Well, I did a lot of damage. Hey, I did it. <laughs> hey, look at me go. I got five in a row. Come on, give me that. Oh, shit, dude. Ow. Dude, these fucking clowns. Didn't I already kill you? Or this dude. Yeah, I have a strong feeling we're going to figure out what happens here. Procedure. Procedure. I some more health. Kiss my ass. Down to one health, man. We're going to find out. I'm telling you. See, like those guys, I could barely make them out. Like that guy, I didn't even see him till he's right up on me. Okay, cool. We can start right back off where we was. Get the fuck out of here, man.
I do. I feel like we probably should have been playing with a uh, a better gun. I think that's part of our issue here. I mean, I think another part of our issue is still going to be the fact that we can't see shit for 90% of the game. Okay, so those guys have helmets. And I'm supposed to know that. I feel like... Oh, damn it. The mutant compound must have raised their metabolic rate. Boy, I don't understand half the shit that goes out of Likewise. Reload. Okay, which one? She's in the middle. You're welcome. I think we've done a pretty good job so far of killing, like, saving civilians, I mean. Fear of me. Get me out of here. Thank You're you. welcome. Please don't shoot me. Oh, hey. Reload. Dude, I'm getting slaughtered on this one. Oh, damn it. I saw the health back here when it's. Hey, we got grenades. What button do you think it is to chuck a grenade? I don't know what button, uh... I don't know what button the grenade is. Oh! Okay, found it! It's, uh... It's on the, um... The nunchuck. So, good thing we're playing with the nunchuck, I guess. Ah, this dude... Sucks. Get out of here, dude. Nobody invited you to the party. Yeah, I don't care if we lost the combo. Yeah, these clowns are like brutally hard to kill. That's like, okay, so over in here, I can't see shit. I'm just oh, aiming. Me, like, I'm just shooting shit, because I can't see nothing. This place is pretty spooky. What the? Are you holding my hand? Yes. I ain't your mama. Get the fuck off of me. <laughs>
trying here. This is a really cool level if you could see shit. You know what I mean? Because I remember this level being really cool when I first played it. This is like the level that stuck. This one and like the Bayou one or the two that's like stuck out with me. Stuck out to me. Oh, bullshit. I was like, I'm... Uh, get the fuck out of here, man. trying here having a rough time at it but we're trying boy i should have chucked your grenade that's Check what i should have done you didn't tell me your that would have probably have helped either. out tremendously sometimes it doesn't like want to like catch the reload it's probably just because of how i'm playing with the sensor bar but yeah i wish i could figure out what the deal is like with the contrast like the con the contrast like can we like figure out something to up it, like, as I'm playing it so I can see stuff, you know what I mean? Motherfucker! <laughs> I think that sound like an apple. You fucking disgust me, Nigel! AMS agent, put your hands in the air. All of them, if you be so motherfucking kind. Now there's some good eating. Shut up. Sebastian and Nigel. Take it, we want to shoot Sebastian. Here he comes. Aim for the little one. He's getting too close. I think this is what we're doing the whole time. Back up. Back up. What? Where did that get thrown to? I don't think I got that health. Did I get that health or not? Oh, 
wait, can I still do damage to him as he's like... Kinda. Not doing like a ton of damage to him, but... Got him. That wasn't too bad. I think it just boils down to how well I can actually see what's going on. <laughs> which isn't... Which isn't normally very much at any given time. Motherfucker! That bastard had to be the sickest mutant yet! It's still alive! So now we're stuck out here in the ass end of nowhere with no ride and motherfucking Papa Caesar on a train to fuck knows where by now. And where the fuck have you gone? Don't make me go calling your stupid ass name. No fucking way. You know, Washington, a man driving a car with his own choice of music is one of the finest experiences he can have in an automobile. You call this an automobile? Music, man, motor, isolated from the outside world. Music making you nod your head with every beat while the outside's just passing you by. You know where I'm coming from? If I did, that's not the type of shit I share. Uh, well, how do you mean? A brother cannot be asked to relay his personal affiliation to his music before knowing he can trust that motherfucker. These things take time. Here I am teamed up with a partner I don't even fucking need, forced to sit in the motherfucking passenger seat, which I have not fucking done since I was a kid, while he goes all soft talking about his feelings for his motherfucking tunes. Shit. Just play your fucking music. What the fuck? I was listening to that. You fucking think because you scored us this fucking popsicle ride, you can play that shit? Hey, hey, hey. That there is country western's finest. You are one fucked up fuck. You know that? That's offensive shit you're playing me. You ever thought of therapy? What the fuck for? All you do is get pissed off at and with just about anything and anyone. I'm attempting conversation here with you. Conver fucking sation? Yes, conver motherfucking sation. But you know what? I'm gonna shut up. You play your music, you play it your way, and I will just drive. Can I drive? No. Can I have a lollipop? Yes. What fun? What fun? It got into you. Oh, oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, we got nine out of ten brains on that one. Oh boy. We, we're gonna have enough cash for the chop going. I'm excited. Be awesome, we have it for the big one. But anyway, that has been episode three of House of the Dead Overkill, the Carney episode. If you guys be so kind as press that thumbs up button and subscribe, it goes a long way in helping the channel out. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.